Okay. Let's try this again. I'm going to click on the axis. I'm going to format axis and for the minimum number, I'm going to fixed. I'll change that to two. And enter, and you can see that instead of zero at the bottom, you have two at the bottom. Now, remember, I'm still without some data over there. So if I click on this chart and I go to my chart tools and go to layout and add some axis titles and I go to the vertical axis, I can um, go to the vertical axis title and I can add in here um, a W. KWH per meter squared per day. I'm not sure I like the way this is reading, so like this and go back to axis title and vertical axis rotated title, and that works better for me. Okay, and I'm sure you know how to add. Um, chart titles, etc. So I'm going to stop at that. But we can take a look at this um, this graph, and we can see that the the panel that is latitude plus 15, that's 58 degrees, that's a steeper angle, is much less productive in the summertime, though slightly more productive in the winter months, uh, versus something that's going to be about a 43 degrees. That seems to be pretty good. Um, it's um, it's pretty productive in the summertime, not as productive as latitude minus 15 or 28 degrees, um, and maybe just slightly uh, more productive than the lat latitude minus 15 or the 28 degrees in the wintertime. Um, and uh, we could go further and actually calculate exactly how many BTUs per uh, hour we're getting from these, but I'm gonna say that the latitude it is probably a pretty good angle for showering simply because we're showering all year, um, perhaps even a little bit more in the summertime, especially if we want to fill the campus. So um, so you should be able to produce this with a nice title that um, provides you with some sources and explains what is happening here. So I'm going to stop this video and